Hello and welcome to another edition of Issues with Jide. Here we talk about actions and inactions of those who shape our political and national landscape and how these impact us positively or otherwise. I'm Ibrahim Shita. Today on the show, activists move against Wiki. Adenio just says he should be in jail. In the course of the program, we take your questions. But first, subscribe to our YouTube channel and drop your questions in the comment section. Important to mention that we can only read comments with human names and the ones based on subject matter. I have joining me via Zoom, the master himself, Babajide Kolade Tutuju, who is joining me from Surrey Keys, Southeast London, on vacation. But he is able to make it to the show today. Good to see you, BK, all the way from the United Kingdom. Thank you, Brian. Uh, it's a thing of joy for me to do this um, in Southeast London. And um, our program is so important that wherever we find ourselves, we will make sure that we bring the program to the uh, viewing pleasure of our lawyer uh, fans. So thank you for uh, standing firm. Stand, thank you for doing this with me repeatedly. And thank you so much, BKO, for always finding time to always um, make sure that we bring this program to uh, the viewing of our um, you know, audience who are being keeping, who have been loyal to this program on and on. But let, let's get right into the program. Uh, human rights lawyer Jadino Ju has told the FCT minister in some wiki that he would own, he would one day account for the land he has been seizing and transferring to his friends. You know, this is coming after Wiki said Adino Ju has you know begged him to help him become the national publicity secretary of the PDP. What's your view about all these? you know, latest expose? I don't know whether these are mere allegations. Um, it's like what we are seeing is like um, when a couple go to court seeking to dissolve their union. The highest level of falsehood usually happens during um, during the divorce proceedings, especially if there are kids between couple. Each one of them will strive to gain custody of the kids, and in the process, they will lie against one another. So looking at Wiki and it's difficult to say who is actually saying the truth. Wiki claims that uh, Adeyanju once sought his help when he wanted to become the uh, publicity secretary of the PDP. Adeyanju claims that Wiki never told him that he would not support him. Because what Wiki said was, I, I told him, no, uh, you are not going to get my support. But Adi Anju claimed that Wiki never at any time, um, never told him at any time that I would not support him. I'm more likely to believe that he never frontally told him that I would not support him. Politicians will lead you on. Politicians will give you the impression that they are going to support you when which comes to show. But they, they may actually have a different person uh, in mind. So in this case, Wiki may actually be saying the truth. And for the allegation made by Adeyanju that Wiki has been seizing land and transferring to his friends. As journalists, we would want Adeyanju to back this allegation up with proof. If indeed Wiki has been seizing land from the poor and the vulnerable and giving to his friends, then we need to know those friends of his who have benefited from this land grabbing, alleged land grabbing that uh, uh, Wiki 
uh, has been accused of doing. So who are these friends? Which land has he grabbed from vulnerable people and transferred uh, the ownership to his friends? We really need to know. He also said that Wiki has been stealing, um, that um, people ought to be in jail. Uh, they are not in jail. And, and the Wiki is a totalitarian and all that. I will not argue that Wiki is, is totalitarian. I will not also argue that he doesn't back down from a fight. But the same Adeyonju said Wiki does not back down from a fight. I told Fubara that Fubara has to challenge him that, and that uh, when he's challenged, he gets frightened and he, he will begin to say things that uh, he should not uh, say because he's already in, in panic mode. That is contradictory. If you said somebody does not back down from a fight, then how come you are saying again that uh, he... He, he gets frightened when he's challenged and he starts saying, oh, the person who gets frightened when challenged is not the same person who will not back down from a fight. So this is uh, contradictory and I really don't know uh, the point that he's making uh, in this regard. He has also told people that they should come to him. He is a uh, weak case uh, uh, guy and that if they have issues with him, they should come to him. He will help them to fight Wiki. You see, in all of this, I blame the FCT minister. Wiki is an example of Adiye Fonfonti of Mora El Agba. If Wiki does not know who he is in Nigeria, and he continues to use the media to use the opportunity that he has to grant interviews and uses the media to take on little boys because if he truly has self-respect he shouldn't be exchanging words with someone like the jade yaju even deji admitted that uh, wiki is just about eight years older than him you cannot say eight years is just eight years is a long time Eight years is a long time. So you cannot say somebody who is eight years older than you is only a little older than you. You cannot say that. That means it's an old man. Uh, the gym went on to say that um, Wiki looks older than Tinubu and um, uh, Buhari combined. That is absolute rubbish. He does not look older than Tinubu and uh, Buhari combined. But I do not blame him. When the minister of FCT does not respect himself and he thinks that people who are junior to him are people that he should exchange words with them, something is wrong with him. And whatever insult is thrown in his direction, he actually asks for it. There is no reason for us to be seeing one of the most senior ministers in the federal cabinet and one of the most hardworking because whichever way you look at it wiki is one of the stars of this administration in terms of performance you can't take it away from him that he's doing a good job in the fct i know that his enemies will not admit that but that is a uh, human nature especially we africans we do not give our enemy credit so i won't be surprised if some people say he's one of the worst ministers in the administration <laughs> but it's possible for someone to say that, what has he done? But you can point out some of what he has done. Now, as a minister that has self-respect, taking on Ugo Chinyeri, you have said that Ugo Chinyeri was somebody that you helped to make him a prominent politician in Nigeria today. If I help to make you a big journalist in Nigeria, I will be diminishing myself to come on TV and be exchanging words with you. I will not do that with my juniors, especially uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the public forum. But Wiki does not think that anybody who abuses him 
does not deserve to be replied. There are people who abuse you that you don't have to respond to. Wiki does not have the maturity to refuse to take on little boys when they are attacking. And politically, there are little boys. He, he, he himself has called them crabs. So if you are calling some people crabs, do they really deserve your attention if you know what you are doing? This is a big character flaw on the part of the FCT minister. And I have said this in the past. Emo Fubara was not replying Wike until it became so it became so consistent in attacking Fubara. People will remember some of the programs, some of the episodes of journalist anger where I want against constantly attacking the river state governor that at some point the dam will break it will snap and it will start abusing you now somebody a little boy attacks you criticizes you you go and take space in tv stations and you will start replying them why on earth with we will we keep be exchanging words with uh, the Jade Yonju. Both in age and in terms of what they've achieved in Nigeria. They are not age mates. They are not mates. You move uh, this um, um, lawyer who is always criticizing the judiciary, Odin Kalu. The other day, the Odin Kalu, I don't even know how his name is pronounced. Odin Kalu, uh, Odin, uh, Odin Kalu, yeah. Odin Kalu. Wiki also, because Odin Kalu's concern is that if Wiki is left alone, he will corrupt the judiciary. And the judiciary will be giving judgments in his favor. What Odin Kalu and um, Ugo Chinjiri, Ikenga Ugo Chinjiri stand for, is very clear. They do not support I mean, uh, um, Wiki. And on the reverse matter, we can see clearly that they are with the governor of River State. So, whatever they say, you expect that it is the uh, reverse governor's position that they will be pushing. If the judiciary decides the matter in favor of, uh, of um, the 27 lawmakers, for example, definitely the table will turn in the reverse uh, crisis. They do not want that to happen. So as much as possible, they are pointing to Wiki as somebody who is out to corrupt the judiciary, to give the judiciary gifts by way of houses and all that, so that judgments will always come his way. And that may not necessarily be the case. The judiciary deserves accommodation, and it is the executive that will provide the way with that. The judiciary does not have land of its own. Just as uh, uh, Larry um, uh, Adeyinka said, whatever Why? happens, the judiciary will still come to the FCT ministry to ask for land. They cannot uh, appropriate land on their own. They can't allocate land to themselves. So when they talk about uh, uh, Autonomy for the judiciary is not absolute. There are still some things that it is the executive. If we talk about separation of power, there are still some things that the executive will have to do for you. Like the budget, they take the budget to the National Assembly. The legislature will have to work on your budget. No matter what we are talking about. So, um, building houses, the, the Supreme Court, for example, was built by the executive. And everyone is using it. It doesn't then compromise the integrity or the neutrality of the judiciary. People must make uh, make this clear. So I agree with Lady Adeyinka, the sports the new spokesperson for um, Wiki, that Femi Falano was wrong in accusing um, Wiki of giving gifts or giving uh, uh, houses to the judiciary is their right. Is their right. And it doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, because the executive gave you, I mean, 
facilitated uh, uh, building. Judi the judiciary shouldn't even be executing contracts on their own. They can make their desires clear, but it is the executive that should now implement that budget on their behalf. So, as far as Palano is concerned, uh, we case should not get involved in giving houses to uh, the um, the judiciary, giving houses to uh, uh, the appeal court, uh, federal high court, and the FCT uh, high court. No, I agree. I am of the belief that the judiciary need proper accommodation. Judges, even when they leave office, should be able to retire into owner occupier homes of their own. If you do not do that, judges will continue to take bribe in the hope that they can secure the future for themselves. This is the thing. Now, it's not if you are on the way to the market, every dog that barks at you, you, you stone the dog. You are not likely to get to that market. This is a popular uh, wisecrack in the continent of Africa. Maybe Wiki has not read about that. If you, Ibrahim, today, if you attack Wiki, he will go and do media chat and attack you. He will even use time to call your name. So <laughs> now, that's a level that you get to, that you cannot be replying every, every attack, uh, every uh, attacker. Um, um, Aisha of Labour Party uh, described Wiki as a village champion. You cannot call somebody who came second in the PDP national uh, PDP presidential um, uh, primaries a village champion. No. He had support across Nigeria at that primary uh, election. In fact, if not because Tambua stepped down for Atiku, Atiku will most likely have lost that presidential primary. Because Tambua who stepped down will most likely have come third in that election. So you can see the quantum of votes that should have gone to Tambua that now went to Atiku to enable Atiku win. And this is an Atiku that has been contesting elections since 1992. So if we could push him all the way, in the way he did, you cannot say he's a village champion. In the, in the Nigerian, poly, Nigerian politics of today, Wike is no longer a local champion. If you want to abuse right. somebody, find a find other things to say. Don't say things that people can easily dismiss. He is now a national figure politically within his own party, the PDP. You cannot say he's a local champion. He is one of Absolutely. the big decision makers. Absolutely. But with so, that, uh, yeah. Uh, no, but when you, when you, when you as Wiki uh, decide to demolish the houses of the poor, it's usually an emotive matter. And that's why you can see very dark man and all of these activists uh, challenge him that he has no right to demolish uh, uh, people's shanties and all that. But I think that the best thing to do is to relocate them. Otherwise, you, you, the insecurity that he's trying to address in a, in a proactive manner may eventually be the, a big problem in, um, in uh, FCT, if people don't have houses over their heads, if you rob them of their house, then you have to relocate them. Find somewhere else uh, to take, take them, you know? So we've seen that happen in, uh, in, in, even in Lagos. They take people away from a place, uh, the rich turn the place to a highbrow area. Remember the story of Morocco, you know? They will now go and find somewhere else for them uh, uh, to settle. So, Wiki needs to do that, find an alternative um, to those places, give those people an alternative uh, uh, shelter, you know, so, so right. that activists will not say, ah, you have come to demolish people's homes and all that. So uh, there is a need for him to 
do some soul searching. You can't you can't be responding to everybody that abuses you. Huh? You can't. It makes no sense. But That's the right, president okay. needs to talk to him. You know, on yeah. that on that matter. Let me quickly take one or two comments. Um Adiri Henry says we should be more political and diplomatic in his affairs as the FCT minister. Trans uh, Transaha Group says, can you talk about what he has achieved? Is politics a means to wealth? Uh, Adiri Henry also said that Daniel Jew should also have respect for elders. Nelson Adufe, I'm disappointed in claims of DG for all he said. Uh, should relatives of politicians resign from services because their families are holding position? Why should a respected lawyer by claim, uh, you know, uh, by claim without presenting evidence? And then he said, I, I advise Mr. Wiki should respect himself and know his place because it's not all dogs that back that one should wait to throw stone at. I think Wiki also alluded to that fact. But then uh, against the backdrop, if you look at the minister, you know, he, had, he, he called a press conference after the Nigerian led victims of his of how how the demolition carried out by the minister in protest. But I think Nigerian who mocked the minister said uh, his only crime was challenging Wiki over his untoward action, describing the minister as someone who hates constructive criticism. Uh, can you talk more on that? I guess you you also alluded to that. Yes, I I, I think I, I agree that he does not take. Um, correction on the chain you know uh, one person who is fighting you today may become your friend tomorrow you don't attack people because they disagreed with you we can always takes every opportunity to talk down on people that are against him whether in his party the pdp or uh, outside of his party and unnecessarily he invites attacks on his own person you know, at least um, it's, I think Anju is trying to build a name for himself as an activist and as a lawyer. Yes, you can say that um, he's just coming up as a lawyer. Um, it's, not, it's not a prominent lawyer yet. Uh, that will come with victories, you know, in the courts and all that. It is, you know, by name uh, or by grad by loan, you must show that you are indeed a lawyer of repute when you handle cases right up to supreme court and all that and people will know uh, as they say a tiger does not need to show his tiger mm -hmm. you know by, by their fruits we shall know them so i think Andrew is coming up of course he will continue to fight for the ordinary people you know so we case you expect that i think on you very dark man uh, and a lot of these activists uh, who come, who, who stand up for the poor, for the underprivileged in our society, the phalanus of, of this world, they've been doing that for years. And when they are doing it, you don't, even if they abuse in the process, you should not reply them. But he wants to reply everybody that attacks him. That is where he's making wow. the mistake. That is where he's losing respect because. Uh, by your stature in the society, it's not everybody that you should respond to. You can, you, and when you ignore some of them, it will even pain them more than calling them names. But if a person with difficulty does what um, pleases him, is somebody who is difficult to uh, to even advise. That's the sort of person that he is, and he doesn't really respect people. I, I don't think that outside of the president that we can respect anybody else. Mm -hmm. I have my doubts. Interesting. Let, let me take mm -hmm. another comment. Uh, this is um, uh, Yog Yog says, uh, well done, Chief BKO. Um, Illumina says, I love Wiki. God's general said, Mr. Wiki should learn from President Tinubu. Fighting everybody would only derail his political career. Uh, Akonde Paul says, see, Nigeria is a place where no law takes place. We suppose we locate those people and make them happy. Um, I'm Kunle Ogudon, uh, Ogunjide from Ilonri. Well done, Chief Vikeo. Uh, Prince Ekwe Balem says, if he thinks he isn't a village champion, let him join another party and win at least one state. We all know he isn't a village champion. Uh, God's General said, President Tinubu doesn't fight anybody. Uh, Bwala is new, is now his SA 
maybe Mr. Wiki will learn one day. Yeah, so, and that's, that's actually the question I wanted to ask you as we wrap up this conversation because we need you to enjoy your The vacation. person who called him, hold on a little bit, the person who called him a village champion, has that person ever won an election? <laughs> yes, Aisha is not known to have won an election. But she can call somebody a village champion. Even an even award, she actually lost an award. Yeah. It's not easy to win an election in this country. UK has won election before. He came second in the PDP primaries. They needed a tambour, you know, to donate his votes to Artiku before they could defeat UK. So you cannot say he's not a formidable politician. Let's leave sentiment aside. I criticize him. I, I, I do not approve of his ways. But the truth is by nature self-evident. So uh, the, they are saying that the president, yes, I think there are lessons that I can learn from the president. The president doesn't just answer everybody. He knows, he even said that he has no time for social media. You know? Yeah. They said, uh -huh. they abuse the hell out of it. <laughs> there been, if there's anybody, if abuse can make somebody drop dead, Mr. President <laughs> would have dropped dead a long time ago. <laughs> the kind of abuse, you know, somebody said a Milokon, he was talking to delegates, the Ogun State delegates of his party, but they twisted it to say that he said it is his turn to be president. He was campaigning mm. to them that, that the primaries, they should vote for him. And that he had helped people within his own party. He had helped people to be this, to be that. But they are now twisting it to make it look like he, he, he said, oh, it is his turn uh, to be president of Nigeria. He, he was saying that, look, let, let me be your candidate in the primaries. The matter of the election had not come at that time. That's true. So it has nothing to do with tribalism. Peter Obi was trying to make it look like uh, this was uh, uh, he was being tribalistic by saying that no, he wanted the votes of delegates. It was delegates that he went to campaign to. He didn't say that in a general uh, rally. It was delegates inside the hall. That's right. That, that was where the famous LA actually came came about. Yes. Yes. So, so Biki, as we, as we close the show, um, you know, you mentioned President, but he's the one that has appointed Nyesom Wiki to mm. that, you know, lofty institution. And then um, people are already advising him to, you know, take half time after the president, at least. Even though we see that you're working, you're Mr. Project, you know, you're, you're replicating your achievements in River State in the yes. FCT. How do you think the president should, you know, um, rein, rein him in, you know, like put much control on Wiki, talk to him so that it does not one way or the other um, you know, stain the administration of President Muhammad, uh, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu while he yes. is trying to have his own political adversaries. I think the President needs to uh, sit him down, have a word with him. It's not all fights that are desirable. Some fights are not desirable at all. And how many enemies does he even want to make? This one is attacking you. That one, are you the only minister in the cabinet? Look at how many people, look at activists and politicians. If they are doing interview today, the people, the bulk of those interviews are usually against Wiki because of the crisis in River State and all that. You know? So he has to talk less and focus more on uh, his mandate, which is to make the FCT much better than he made it. You know how, how, how many times he has had to fight uh, the senator representing the FCT, Ireti Kingibe. He even posted that Ireti will not be allowed uh, to get re-elected. You are saying that when somebody is still in, uh, was in, in her first year into a four-year term you are already saying that she will not be related that you will do everything it is the voters who can determine who gets re-elected so when you talk in this manner people will say oh 
um, maybe is, is, is planning to use crooked means to stop the woman. And in the process, you also energize such people. You get the people, the masses, to even begin to support such a person fiercely. Because the Nigerian people like to side the underdog. So when you face a politician that you are much bigger than him, and you are issuing threats, you are threatening such a politician, you will find that Nigerians will team up with that politician and they will fight you, and your wish may eventually not come to pass. This is partly what has happened in River State. A lot of the big uh, people there decided to support Fubara because they were watching Wiki when Wiki was constantly doing media charts attacking him, and this fellow didn't reply him initially. But after a point, he's going to invite a lot of um, hatred, not just for the president or for the ruling party, if he continues to act in this manner. He has to just let it go. It's not every fight that you need to fight. Some, you just ignore them and they treat their, uh, their criticism as, a, as something that you have to take on the team. But abusing people every time they criticize you because you think that you cannot be criticized is wrong. And sooner than later, it's going to dis the, uh, discover that. So I think the president needs to talk to him and get him to change before as we as we wrap the show so i just wanted to know um how you enjoy your holiday you know you're joining us from sorry keys uh you know in southeast london so it's just about maybe 60 minutes to london bridge and we hope you'll be visiting there uh visiting liverpool visiting manchester visiting, visiting chelsea stadium and all of those yes, I, I visited uh, the emirates stadium um which is the home of my new club at Snap Football Club. Uh, it was an honor to snap a picture with the uh, statue of uh, the graceful striker Thierry Henry. And um, wow. um, I saw huge pictures of uh, um, Tony Adams, Sol Campbell, yeah, right, and many Arsenal greats. So uh, it was a, a happy feeling for me to um, visit London and uh, uh, visit the Emirates Stadium, the, the home of my club, Arsenal Football Club, the home of Gabriel Martinelli, Saka, Ben White, Pate, and all those great players that make uh, Arsenal tick. It's unfortunate that um, we are on um, an international break. I would have loved to watch Arsenal live um, as a measure of my support for the club. And I'm confident that during my time as Arsenal supporter, the club will continue to make solid progress. I've um, been able to go to many places, the London Bridge today, the London Isle, and uh, it's such a beautiful um, feeling. And the CEO yeah. of TVC was also there, yeah, she's cooled here, and she showed, yeah. me some, she showed me some beautiful places in London. She made sure that I got a boat ride so that I can uh, wow. Taking the the air of London and I see how beautiful London is. I even uh, went on the cable car with her wow. and some of our friends. So uh, it's it's been a wonderful vacation for me. It's a vacation to remember. I went to Peckham where many Nigerians uh, saw me. And um, they recognized me 
and they were taking pictures with me in Pekan. Even uh, when, I, when I tried <laughs> to be nice, they recognized me easily um, in Pekan. And uh, I really have had a nice time. And um, next weekend, I'll be back to Nigeria to continue the daily grind. Amazing, amazing! You you're really having a nice time, BKO. I feel yeah, like um, I should I, I should be in London this time round, but then unfortunately <laughs> I'm back in the country myself. All right, uh, that's you're our show for today. Get another chance. Hopefully, hopefully, maybe your next time um, going to the UK. Probably you have to. Maybe I'll I'll stay away with you. I'll just stay away in your bag, your travel box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's our show. That's our show for today's edition of Issues with G-Day. Special thanks to you, Baba G-Day, Kaladi for those insightful analyses. As always, be careful. Thank you, Brian. Thank you to our viewers. God bless you all. Right. Thank, thank you to our audience for keeping our company on every edition. You can see the program again anytime by subscribing to our YouTube channel, CBC News Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button to get the latest information. You can also follow us on our social media platforms at TVC News NG. I'm also at Ibrahim underscore Shita. On behalf of the rest of the team, I'm Ibrahim Shita. See you again next edition. Bye for now.